Hi everybody, today I have two speakers from McGolfin, the EST69 and the EST69 Pro Max. These speakers look nearly identical in every way. Well, you could say that the EST69 Pro Max is red and the EST69 is orange, but this one's actually available in red too. Since the speakers are nearly identical in almost every way, I'm going to show you the Pro Max because the Pro Max is where you'll see the one slight difference. Both speakers have the user hostile black on black button motif. When will these manufacturers ever learn? We have the power button here, the volume up and next track button here. This is a phone button used for answering calls, but you can also use it to play or pause tracks. This is the volume down or previous track button and the lighting effects selector. Speaking of lighting effects, both speakers have five modes of RGB lighting or off. The default is actually off, which is unusual and maybe even unprecedented for Bluetooth speakers. The RGB lights are very bright. In fact, they are blowing out my camera right now, but just take my word for it, this is a bright light. Under this panel, we have the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, USB-C charging port, and a TF card slot. The lanyard rope comes pre-installed and you can remove it, but then I wouldn't want to put it back again. This is the McGolfin magnetic panel. It is very strong. I wouldn't worry about it coming off the shakiest of golf carts. I don't have full specifications on the speakers, but I believe there are dual two inch full range speakers and dual passive radiators. Just to give you an idea of the orientation, the mounting magnet is on this side and the sound will be coming out these two panels here. If you don't have this mounted on a golf cart, I do encourage you to suspend this from a lanyard or set this horizontally so that the buttons are facing up because a significant amount of bass does come out of these passive radiators and it will impact the sound if you set it down on a surface like this. Both the regular and Pro Max version of this speaker have two 10 watt drivers and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Both the regular and Pro Max version of the EST69 sound fantastic, up until about three quarter volume, and then you'll get some distortion, especially in deep bass. So what makes the Pro Max different? Well, there's only one thing, two solar panels. If you look at the user manuals for the Pro Max and the regular version of the speaker, they are identical. They don't mention the solar panels at all. I think the solar panels aren't mentioned because they don't make a significant difference. I mean, the regular version of the speaker already has 20 hours of playback. That's plenty. And solar panels this size, that's a trickle charge. It's kind of a why not kind of feature, but I don't think I'd pay extra for it. Most Bluetooth speakers don't even come with a case, but McGolfin includes it in the package. And it's a nice one too. Hard shell, very nice zipper, high quality, two chambers, one for the speaker and one for the accessories. All right, McGolfin's awesome. The manual says both of these speakers are IP66 waterproof, which means you don't have to worry about them being in the rain, but don't submerge them in water. Despite the nearly identical design, I could not pair the EST69 with the Pro Max in TWS mode. They do have a different signature on Bluetooth, but uh, I was hoping it would be close enough. It didn't work. I did try to fake it. I synced the song up on two different devices and played it at the same time on both speakers. And I have to admit, it sounded great. I just, it just made me want TWS even more. Yes, these are marketed as golfing speakers, but that's just because of this magnet. Don't let that stop you from bringing these just about everywhere. They look and sound fantastic. Just don't bring them in the water. It amuses me that the EST69 has a different skew based on the color of these things. Does that make a big difference to you? It doesn't make a big difference to me, but you know, pick your favorite. They're both going to sound fantastic.
Regardless if you like to golf or not, I think McGolfin makes some of the best budget-friendly Bluetooth speakers on the market today. Five out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by. Thank <music> you.